Hey everybody, it's me Liv. Welcome to week six of the Spooktacular Halloween collab. I hope you guys are having a great time checking out all of these fantastic um, crafters who are participating in this particular um, collaboration. Um, I am bringing you a project this week um, in which I decorated this stand that I bought over at the craft store. So I'm going to show you the back of it. So what I ended up doing is it's a wood base stand and um, I didn't decorate the back, just the front, but just bought a can of spray paint, it's regular old black spray paint, and went ahead and spray painted the whole thing. I really focused more spray painting the um, edges um, and the bottom, not so much the back, uh, because I knew I was going to cover it paper. Then the next step I did is took this uh, metallic luster. Um, I'll see if you can get this in focus for you guys. Um, let me bring my light just a little bit closer. So I ended up getting this, and this one is called, it's from Art Deco, it's called Black Shimmer. And when you actually use it, open it up, it's actually like a weird, um, almost silvery kind of color. And that was the look that I was trying to go to make this look more metally. So hopefully you guys can see how it came out on its hip. Took a sponge, went ahead and did this all over my edges and especially focused on the base to make it look more like a olden metal type of look to it. Then I used the paper, this particular paper collection is from Graphic 45 Master Detective. It is an older collection that they had um, and it is inspired by Sherlock Holmes, but it is one of my favorite um, collections that they have. One of the things I love most about Graphic 45 is just how thick and sturdy their paper is. It just really has a great quality to it that I love. So what I ended up doing is doing multiple layers and Hopefully you guys can see all the layering that I did. Took one of the journaling cards, kind of popped it up over here, cut out some other little pieces, put this one on foam, added one of those decorative spiders that I had in my stash that I got from the Dallas store. And this little adorable piece is actually sent from one of my swaps that I participated in. Some, one of my swap buddies sent this out to me, but it really just kind of fit the whole decor of what was going on here so I went ahead and used that in my project um just so you know I do my best to try to use as much that comes along that people send me I mean to take the time to make it I want to take the time to kind of incorporate into some of my crafts as well the other thing I did is took some of these border trims that I had gotten from I think it was Hobby Lobby or the Dallas store I can't remember now and I went ahead and put it all along here and these are enamel dots that I had in my stash. They were actually super, super bright. So what I ended up doing is just putting a little bit of the black shimmer on them as well. And it kind of dulled down the neon green color of it and fit a little bit better with the green that was going on in here. Um, so, you know, used, if you want to know what glue I use, I use a good old fashioned arc glitter glue. I do need to restock. I'm getting a little bit low, but... This is the next piece to my collection. I'm fortunate in my house, I have a nice bay window. And so I've been able to add a lot of the elements that I've been creating here for the collab into that bay window. I do have another project that I'm hoping um, to get all done by next week to show you guys. There will be another thing that I'll be adding as well to the bay window collection. So thank you guys so much for stopping by for the collab. Um, check out the great inspiration that is there over on um, the other channels. And I will hopefully see you guys shortly. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a great night.